Hey everybody. Here's that power supply that came out of that um, very nasty computer that had the uh, rat turds and stuff in it. This is a Bestech ATX 312E power supply. It's been dusted out many times with the um, compressor already. And of course, this power supply didn't have any rat turds or nothing like that, and it was all in the bottom of the case. Well, I figure let's go ahead and take the cover off and just have a look inside, just for the heck of it. But before I do, I just want to go ahead and look at these wires right quick, make sure there's no mouse bites on the wires. The wires appear to be fine. So anyways, I'm going to show you the spec label as always. Pause the view specs. It's going to take that cover off. This unit has a clamshell design in case. Makes them pretty makes them pretty easy to work with. At least if you're doing um, capacitor replacements. Because you actually have access to the solder side of the board just by removing the cover. And these only have like four screws to take off. Very easy to get into. These are the power supplies that come in some e-machines computers, and don't get these confused with the Best Tech ATX 25012E units. These are safe. The 250s are not. The 25012E is not. But the 25012Z, 312Z, and 12E are all safe. They use a much better design 5 volt standby rail. So that being said, so and get you that internal look. Just yeah, I just wanted to get a quick overview of this power supply to see how it looked after being in that nasty computer. And to be honest with you, it looks pretty good. Now of course I just hit it with the air compressor not long ago. So it's definitely clean. From what I see all the capacitors look good. No bulging caps. It's a mixture of Jamicon and LTEC. You commonly find LTECs in um, Delta supplies. This, this power supply here looks great. I'm going to show you the solder side. Yeah, everything looks pretty good to me. So, this will make for a rather quick video. But for those who have never seen inside a Best Tech ATX 312E power supply, here you go. I'm going to get you a um, quick little overview here. Now, of course, if you want to see the difference between the um, 312E and the 25012E, I do have a video on my channel about that. You may have to search for it as of uploaded it probably two years ago at least one year ago the big difference is there's no transistor here it's only a single transistor the main transistor on the primary um, side heat sink overall these power supplies um, they work very well for for reuses you can reuse these and in basic builds, they'll they'll run just fine. And it's funny the twelve the the three hundred twelve E's don't have capacitor problems as often as the two fifty twelve Z and the three hundred twelve Z units. From my experience, what I've seen, I've only had to recap one three hundred twelve E. Now it's just replacing one capacitor. It is on my Papa's computer. <clears throat> Anyways, um, <laughs> kind of a rather quick video. I'll be looking at this power supply next in another video. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask, and thanks for watching.